Hello everybody, this is Sipidus, and today we are back messing around with Kerbal Space Program. Today I'm going to be sending this rocket here to Duna, and hopefully Ike, and then hopefully we can return safely with all Kerbals alive. Speaking of Kerbals, let's assign some. We have Jeb the pilot, Shelbert the engineer, and I want a scientist. What scientist? Nina. First on the list, well done. And then I want somebody in the lander can for now. And it's going to be an engineer. And that'll be for my rover. Graliana, you will be descending to Duna in a rover. Here it is. And let's go. I haven't tested out all aspects of this flight. Sometimes uh, that goes well and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, sometimes, most of the time, that's fun when it doesn't. Um, as long as your goal is to have fun and not to succeed. If your goal is to succeed, well then failing, that can suck. Alright, here we go, this giant penis looking thing. Hopefully it can get there in one piece. Let's find out. <laughs> Well, everything is looking nominal. All my solar panels survived the decoupling of my girders, which there was a big fiery explosion. Um, and I had to rotate the ship to get some, uh, what, does they call, what do they call that? Some kind of momentum, some kind of circular momentum to help those girders get away from my, sh my, my ship. And this is it. Now I think I will explain what I got since I have a pretty good trajectory toward Duna. Right in front we got our rover which is going to come down with Griliana which I think we might as well get her out of there and head her on over. She's a brave, brave engineer who decided who volunteered to re-enter, or not to re-enter, but to enter Duna's atmosphere without a heat shield. I don't know what she's thinking. Maybe she doesn't realize how hot it's going to get. Let's see, which way is up? Which way is up on this thing? I think this way is up. 
I can just control this meandering spacesuit. Okay, and you are set, ready to go. Um, I might as well bring over, I think I can do this like this now. Let's transfer Jeb. Jeb is going to be coming down onto the surface of Duna. And so is Shelbret. Good. Good. Let's see. Who do we got over here? Yep. There we go. And then Nina is going to stay aboard the command module, which is not going to be entering Duna. Uh, at least it, it won't be landing on Duna. So the rover's going down separate. The centered lander is going down separate. This is staying in orbit. And everything looks wonderful. Now I think I'm going to separate everything here so that they can be nice and far away from each other when they do reach Duna. How do I want to do this? I got, I got people in all of them, right? I got power and everything. F5. Decouple that. Off it goes. And let's get rid of this piece. Okay. You are well on your way. And then this one. Right, we got we got fuel, we got everything, we got it all. Let's decouple here. There we go. This is right, right? That is right. That looks good. Okay, so now. All three of these pieces will be heading toward Duna at different times, and hopefully they all survive. Let's find out. <laughs> Well, that was exciting. Griliana is a very brave Kerbinaut. Uh, upon further discussion with her, she said that she knew she was going to survive the landing because these girders, these little girders right here, are excellent 
excellent heat heat shields and that uh, it may look like the air can just go right through but she said she wasn't worried about that she said there was a little bit of steel in between her and the atmosphere and that was enough well good for her okay let's get the gear out just in case we come in a little bit too hot and here is my gear which also helps me in case I go flying when I'm racing around Duna on the surface and I get happen to jump into a crater I can deploy these and Grilliana in her awesome engineering wisdom can repair them I'm gonna save I can slow myself down with the engines which are right there I'm not gonna I don't want to I want to come down hard I want to see what it's like I saved it I can revert it I want to see this thing crunch yes beautiful oh I didn't even break nothing broke look at that isn't that great look at that thing beautiful 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 although it does help well I mean it didn't really help the landing but these rapier engines if you don't know have a very low center of mass like the center of mass of this engine is somewhere down here so the center of mass of the whole ship is something like right there so it's very hard to tip this thing over that's the only reason why those rapier engines are there I'll never fire them up they're just there to keep my rover from slipping okay so this she took a beating it looks like she might be passed out let's see let's let's wake her up there you go good job now let's get back in well done Grilliana well done maybe we'll drive around a little bit where is there a fun place to drive let's test I want to test this thing and see if I can catch some air and maybe destroy it in the process I know what I can do though to help that out let's turn off this engine and this engine how fast am I going 23.6 meters per second good and let's turn on hopefully I don't break my wheels turn that engine on and this engine on and let's just fucking let's just go See how fast we can go. Let's see if we can get some air off this dune. Oh! Gear it up! Gear up! Woohoo! We gotta shut these engines off. Ah! What else broke? I lost, I lost my landing legs. Just the landing legs broke. Fucking great. Well, now these use are these these landing legs are pretty much useless because it'll it didn't flip over. You see that? You see how awesome that center of mass change is? Okay, let's bring in the gear. You got to leave your seat because you got some work to do. You got some work. Let's let's get these repaired. At least now, Grilliana, you served a purpose. You weren't just wasted weight. Well done. Thank you. Everybody down on Kerbin is very proud of you. And here you shall sit for the end of time. Okay, let's move on to what's next, our lander. Hopefully the lander has a reasonable head start and that it can land before I need to make any adjustments. Okay, so that's set up to land. Let's just let's double check, make sure command module is that the right periapsis 24 uh, no that is not right let's see I want that to be around I think 18 and I also have to fit fix the inclination which I should have done a long time ago now now it's not going to be at zero um, do I need to go up I need to point up Oh man, that was an exciting, that's an exciting landing. That was good. 
I did not know what to expect. I think I knew she was going to live. Uh, but I didn't think that those landing legs would not get damaged at all. Well, we're at a one degree inclination. I think that's the best we can get until we get a little closer toward some kind of ascending or descending node. All right. Uh, right, 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 right. We got to fix our. Our perigee. Which will also help us get away from my lander, put some further distance in between it. Um, uh, maybe not that much. Um, I don't know. I should be fine. I really kind of wanted 18 and a half, not 17 and a half. I know it's not much, but it, man, that really does, it makes a difference. That thousand meters is quite a change. Good enough, right there. It's under a 19, which is, which is perfect. Okay. Doing a lander. This should go well as well. Let's find out. Descent, if I do say so myself. Well done, Jeb. Um, I spun my aircraft like a top, merely to spin it like a top. I just wanted to. I just loved what it looked like. I loved the design of this lander. I never, I never built anything like this before, where it kind of looks like it's pointing the wrong way. It was a lot of fun to build. It's a lot of fun to land. Hopefully I can get it back up to. This is coming down nice and easy. Nine meters per second. <clears throat> the landing site looks great. Not, It's not in a big shallow crater. Hopefully everything goes as smooth as one could expect. And it seems that it does. I'm not even, I don't even think I broke anything. Okay. Whew. That is a relief. Oh, how are we doing here? Oh, wow. Look at That's way far away. Look at that. We have so much time. That worked out good, too. All right. Let's, let's go down to the surface. Come on out, Jeb. You magnificent bastard, you. Ooh, Ike, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful picture. Perfect for a flag. Hopefully the flag points the right way. I have no doubt that it won't. It does not, but it's good enough. Hmm. What do you want to call this? I can't believe that worked. I really can't. Sometimes the game surprises you. Um, no, Jeb, you got to turn around. Come on, don't be shy. F1 for a screenshot. That is pretty, isn't it? Oops. All right. Let's, that's all we came to do. We are out of here. 
Shalbret, you are not needed, so we won't use you. Thanks for coming. You were monumental in watching Jeb be brilliant. All right, guys, you hang tight while we set up your rendezvous. Well, two for three, huh? Two for three on this trip to Duna. We are we are looking good. Let's save it because we might not be good. And of course, let's put our engine toward the danger, right? That makes sense. That's what that's what the wise people tell us to do, right? Point the explosive end toward the flame. That's what we'll do. We'll see you in orbit. <laughs>
Well, that was challenging. Like, fuel was such a problem. Oh, and I don't know what happened with my first, my first attempt at a rendezvous with my um, landing module. I don't know. I screwed that up. I nearly what cost mission. I didn't want. I can't use too much of this fuel in this tank. I need most of it to get back. Whew, that took a while. But we made it. We got it. I think. I hope everything works out great. Um, yeah, so what do you think of my Ascent module, or whatever it's called? It, I did some clipping, but I thought it looked awesome. Um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out, this little contraption. And these these are here so that it can land on Ike. I don't have to worry too much about destroying the, the, the engine when I do that. Which is what I'm going to be doing in the next video all right so that does it for this video everything went so close to according to plan but i had such a good time it's such a good time i love it when it gets when it comes down to like the nitty-gritty and you run out of fuel and you're just kind of working on fumes so everybody i hope you guys enjoyed this video watch keep an eye out for part two which should be coming up any day now see you later